Hello everyone, my name is Daria. I work for Polaron as an EU citizenship specialist and here on call with me, Jakub. Hello, Jakub. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jakub and I'm Czech and Slovak citizenship manager also in Polaron. Thank you, Daria, for inviting me today. It's a pleasure having you here with me today. Uh, so, Jakub, could you please tell us our what are the best tips to speed up the Czech citizenship process? Oh, thank you. That's the hard one. Um, yeah, we need to say the Czech citizenship process is not fast, definitely. It can take even one year to get the Czech citizenship because you need to get all the documents, submit the application, then the government is deciding about it, some bureaucracy is following. So, uh, yeah, but there are a few tips how you can speed uh, your process up. Um, this is mainly to know uh, the dates uh, when your ancestors uh, were born, when they were married, when they died, and also where. So you can more easily or we can more easily get documents for you. For example, here in the Czech Republic, we can uh, do all the archival docs for you. We just need to know a few basic information about your ancestors, you know, name, place and date of birth. Uh, so if you know these um, dates already, uh, you can speed up the research for sure. And then in fact, speed your Czech citizenship application also. Um, the other thing I can think about is probably uh, to, you know, you can s save a lot of time on translations because Czech government has quite strict requirements for uh, translations of your documents. It need to be translated by Czech uh, official translator. Uh, and you can spend a lot of time, you know, looking for them, try to contact them and so on. Uh, okay. So I would actually maybe recommend uh, contact Polaron, which can secure these translations and also prepare the forms for you. And at the end of the day, this is the most important uh, to fill out the correct forms. Because, for example, if you are applying according to the wrong section of the Czech citizenship law, uh, your application can be even rejected and then you need to go uh, all over again. So definitely, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a good tip to uh, contact or and we can help you to fill out this application. And what about the timeline, actually? How long does it take usually, like on average, to mm -hmm. get our Czech passport? Yeah, so as I mentioned, it can be around, let's say, a year, which is 12 months, or in some more complicated case, it's maybe a little more, like 18 months. Uh, which is actually still pretty good when we compare it to German Polish citizenship, but uh, it's definitely not a fast process that can be done within a week or two. A few weeks, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but as I mentioned, if the if the application is very well prepared, the government actually has no doubt then, and it can be approved much faster because the Czech citizenship process. Mm, it takes few steps. The first step is actually to preparing your documents. Uh, the second is to submit the application, which we can do for you in Prague. And the last one is waiting for the decision, which can be sometimes the longest part. Uh, Czech government has up to six months to decide about their application. Uh, but if the application is very well prepared, it can be even faster. So it's very important to have your application well prepared. What is interesting is that six months, uh, sometimes people are getting uh, confused. Oh my God, why it takes so so long to get a Czech passport? But here we're talking about six months, right? The government can take up to six months to decide. Um, I know that uh, if you apply for Italian citizenship, uh, they have a right to, um, to review your application for four years. <laughs> Right. So it's, it's just, I, just... I always tell it to clients, you know, it's not so bad, actually, when we compare it to other cities. Not at all. <laughs> Some countries even doesn't have any such a limit. You know, they can just yeah, decide they can... It about it, you know, whenever they will find some time. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. So six months is, and as I mentioned, it's not always six months. It can be even faster. Uh, but yeah. this time is mainly needed to do some archival research on, you know, on the government side, so they can they need to verify if you, if your ancestors really existed, uh, when they emigrated, if there were indeed Czechoslovak citizens, and so on. So, I think it's reasonable. But for some clients, uh, we received the decision even within two months or so. But you know, six yeah. months is something we need to take into account. Yeah, so the best tip to speed up the Czech uh, citizenship process is to contact Polaron, right? <laughs> yes, we will do you a free assessment of your case and let you know if you are eligible and then we will guide you through the whole process. So yeah, I think this is the best investment in terms of saving time. <laughs> and energy as well. Yeah. Thank you, Jakub. Uh, for your time today and uh, you, I Daria. hope we have awesome. more people on board with us yes <laughs> have a very nice day thank you bye bye have a nice day bye bye